Hey YouTube, so today we're going to be doing a video about how to make your Windows 10 computer perform faster again. So as all of you guys know, when you freshly install your Windows, everything is running kind of smooth and kind of fast, but over time it's always slowing down again. So not only am I going to show you how to make it as fast as in the beginning, we're going to make it even faster. Now we're gonna do all of this in about six little steps and I'm going to be explaining to you guys exactly what it is that I'm doing so that you don't need to be afraid that I'm messing with your computer or whatever. I do this stuff every day at my work. I work as an IT'er. So I hope you guys will stick with me and let's go for step number one. So for starters, we're gonna be cleaning out our Windows startup applications. Now what those things do is basically start up in the background of your computer and they take away a lot of performance. Now it's very easy to clean those out. We're gonna be clicking the start button in the left bottom corner and we're gonna type here startup. Now you'll see that you get the startup apps as the first option. We're gonna click that one open and you'll get a list of applications that are all starting up when your computer is booting. So basically these apps are just taking away performance for nothing because you don't need them. As you see, they are Adobe apps, they are updater apps, they can be basically anything, but none of that you really need and they take away a lot of speed from your computer. So we're gonna turn all of those off by hitting the sliders all to the off side. And when you're done doing that, you can just close this window and we're gonna be moving on to the startup services. This is another part that's starting up when your computer is booting up that you can also turn off. Now how you go there is just press the start button and type MS config. You'll get into the system configuration. You can open that one and go to the services tab. Now here I want you to hide all Microsoft services by checking this little box here. And then you'll be left with a lot of services that are all starting up in the background of your computer. Now, as you see, a lot of those are just, again, things that you don't need. I have the Adobe services for updaters, flash updaters, and all that kind of stuff. You can turn those off. So go ahead and look through the list. And if you find anything that you say, hey, I know this, this I don't need starting up, like my Google Chrome services, I don't need those starting up. You know, looking a bit more down, I have my Samsung mobile connectivity service, which I don't need. That's something for my cell phone. At my team viewer just go ahead and scroll through this list and if you see anything any program any service that you recognize just you know turn it off be a little bit careful here guys because some drivers may actually be starting up and you don't want to be unchecking those so if you're not entirely sure better leave it on or just make a small google search on if you can turn it off or not now when you're done here just hit the ok button and that's it we're going to be moving on to step number two now, for the second step, we're gonna be making your computer a lot lighter. So we're gonna be deleting a lot of unnecessary files. I'm not talking pictures here or movies or personal files. I'm talking purely system files that you don't need. So how are we gonna do this? This is very easy. We're gonna be hitting the start button again in the left bottom corner. And we're gonna type here percent %temp%. Percent. We're gonna open this one. And everything that you find in this folder, you can delete. I do this by hitting the Control and A button at the same time and by hitting the delete button. Now optionally you can choose here for the shift delete to permanently delete without going to your recycle bin, but I'm just going to delete it. Now if you get a notice like this, you can just hit the box and press skip. And if you get a notice for administrator rights, you can just hit continue. This is no problem. Everything is gonna work fine afterwards. So once you've done that, you can just move on over to your C drive right here on the left. And we're gonna go into the Windows folder. Now once you're there, we're gonna be opening the temp folder, which is a bit down. It's gonna be right here and everything that's in this temp folder you can also delete you can just use the same way as we did in the last one you can hit ctrl and a to select everything and you're gonna hit the delete button to delete and if it comes to ask you about anything you can just hit the checkbox right here and the skip button also here of course you can use optionally the shift and delete to permanently delete so when you're done here there's two more folders in the windows directory that you can delete that is one, the logs folder, which is right here. Same principle, control A, delete everything. Skip it and go back to the Windows folder. And then the next one is the prefetch folder, which is right here. Everything that's in this folder, you may have to give administrator rights to enter it, no problem. Just go ahead, control A, delete, and that's it. So once you're done there, you can close the window and we're gonna be running the Windows built-in disk cleanup tool. Now for that, we're gonna go to the start button right here in the left bottom corner and we're gonna be typing disk cleanup. You can take the top option here and we're gonna be selecting the C drive and it's gonna give us a little window with a lot of options, but we're not gonna take that. We're gonna hit the cleanup system files button right here. Now check again your C drive 
and hold on a bit because this can take up to one minute uh, to load to see how much space it can free up. So we're gonna fast forward here a little bit. There we go, we have our checkboxes. Now, do make sure guys that you don't check the downloads button here because this is actually your downloads folder which probably contains a lot that you downloaded for some reason and you don't wanna get rid of. So uncheck that one and you can check all the rest which means only 800 megabytes but I have a feeling that with you it's gonna be a whole lot more than that. So go ahead and press the OK button, press delete files and it's going to be cleaning up. Now also this part can take up to a few minutes to be deleted the longer the better actually because that means that more stuff is being deleted off your computer and it's only going to get faster now optionally if you want to clear some more space off your computer you can use this very small program called tree size free this is something that i use at my job which is perfectly safe to use i will put the link in the description in case you want to download it and i'll show you how to use it it's very easy you just right click this icon right here and you press run as administrator it's going to open and you're going to press here the scan button and then you're going to select directory and take the C drive. Now this is going to make a scan of your computer to see where the most space is being used on your hard disk. So as you see it's going to show it in the size of a tree so the most is going to be on top and the least is going to be down. Now as you see you can just drop down in everything. You see I have for example uh, 21.6 in my windows map and if I want to see where all that is stored going to show me that at 9.1 from that is in my win as 5.9 in my system 32 and so on and so forth and you can just keep dropping down into every one of them and delete the desired files that you don't need anymore on your computer now this is going to give you a very nice general overview of your computer and where is what and how to delete it maybe files that you forgot about and are stored somewhere everything or any way that you can make your computer lighter is gonna make it perform faster. So this is purely optional. I don't wanna be recommending you to use third-party software if you prefer another program to do this or if you just wanna do this by your own touch by just deleting whatever you think you can, that's also fine. Just try to make it as light as you can. So that's all for clearing up our hard disk and let's move on to step number three. So for the next step, we're going to be adjusting the window settings to maximum performance. And we're going to do that by clicking the start button in the left bottom corner. And we're going to type here control. So we're going to take the top option control panel and we're going to go into the system and security settings. Here we're going to take the power options and we're going to select here the high performance plan. Now, if you don't see this one popping up, it should be hidden under this little arrow here. You can slide it out and just make sure the box is checked. After that, you can go back here into the system and security settings and you can go into the system settings. We're gonna select here advanced system settings. On the performance tab, you can select the settings button. Here we're gonna click advanced again. We're gonna go into the virtual memory box and click change. And here we're gonna turn off the automatic file paging. We're gonna click okay. These changes only take effect after you restart your computer, but you don't have to do that right now. So you just click okay. OK, OK, and restart later. Now there are some people who want to turn the page filing actually on, but I prefer to turn it off because it kind of kills your SSD very fast as it's always rewriting on that same part of your disk and therefore the lifespan of your disk will be much, much shorter. Now you can go ahead and close this window and we're gonna hit the start button and go this time into the settings button right here. First of all, we're gonna be opening the system and we're gonna go into the notifications and actions window. So here you can turn this little slider off and these two checkboxes can also be turned off. Go ahead and close it and we're gonna go and hit the start button again. And this time we're gonna be hitting the privacy settings. So you can go ahead and type privacy, take the top option right here. And we're gonna come in the privacy section and here we're gonna start off with general. Here you can turn everything off, all the sliders to the left. We're gonna go into the speech everything to the left, inking, everything off, diagnostics and feedback you can turn here on basic and your activity history can be unchecked here and you can press clear and OK here. Now at the app permissions we're going to go to location and we're going to make sure that this one is off. We're going to go a little bit down to account info. We're going to turn that one off. Contacts off. Calendar off. Phone calls can be off also. The call history, go ahead and turn it off email you don't need apps accessing your email tasks you can turn them off the messaging the radios the other devices 
and as last the app diagnostics you can also turn off so basically all of these you don't need and they're all running in the back of your computer and they are slowing everything down so that's all for the windows settings in terms of performance so we're moving on to step number four now for the next step we're going to be cleaning up the registry this is very essential to making your computer run faster as the registry determines a lot that's happening in the background of your computer now for this we're going to be using a classic called the c cleaner you may have already heard of this one i'm going to put the link in the description below now as you install this i want you to be careful because during the installation you will get two check boxes and they'll be on the left bottom corner of your installation window and they're gonna ask you to install the CCleaner browser. Now, you're not gonna wanna do this because of course we want to stay away from installing too much on our computer. So just make sure you uncheck them like this and then you can move on and install the CCleaner. And we're gonna open it up and it's going to look like this. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of options here but we only need the third one, which is the registry. We're gonna click that one and we're gonna click here on scan for issues. We're gonna wait a little bit, this shouldn't take too long. I would say it's about 10 seconds until it's completely scanned. And as you can see, it's finding a lot of missing shared DLLs and stuff like that, which are basically registry entries that are not being used. Now, in order to delete those, we're just gonna be clicking the fix selected issues button, which is right here. After we do that, we will be asked if we want to back up the registry changes before we do this. So we are gonna click yes here. And we're gonna save it you can save this wherever you want i'm just gonna take the default location after you've done that you just click the fix all selected issues button now it will delete all of those entries you can go ahead and close this window you can close the c cleaner and after that i would suggest you uninstall it but we're gonna get to that in the next step now before we get down to step number six which is the hardest step of all but also the most effective we're gonna get down to step number five which is very very easy now all I want you to do for this step is just to remove the unnecessary and unwanted software off your computer. Now for you guys who don't know how to do that, I'm just gonna quickly show you. You're gonna hit the start button and you're gonna type here add or remove. You're gonna click the top option and we're gonna come into the list with the software that's installed on your computer. Now, as you see, I have quite some stuff installed on my computer and I should probably clean it up soon but I'm just gonna give you two examples for example I used the C cleaner in the previous step so I told you you probably want to uninstall that again so we're gonna click it click uninstall twice wait for the window to pop up and we're just gonna go next uninstall and finish and that's gone now I also installed tree size in one of the previous steps and I don't know if you did also but I'm just going to show you how to remove that one. So we're going to go a bit down. Here it is tree size free and we're going to click uninstall. There we go. Now sometimes you have to give a reason why you are uninstalling the program or at least it's asking you if you want to give a reason. You can just skip that here and we're going to go on and would you like the application settings to be deleted also? Yes. And it was removed off your computer so that's for the software now as you see i have quite some work to do with uninstalling software from my computer so i suggest you do the same to yours and then we're going to be moving on to step number six okay guys so step number six this is the big one this is the one where we're actually going to make windows faster than when it was when you just installed it now this step is going to include some scripts some very very good scripts that i get from github which is a very renowned website that does nothing else but tuning computers and technical talk and stuff like that now i trust this site 100 percent because i use it at my job and i want to show you guys how to do it i promise you this may seem hard but if you stick with me i'm going to show you very slowly and very nice how to do it so first of all you're going to be opening a web browser and there we're gonna paste this link, which I will be putting in the description below. You're gonna open that link and we're gonna come on a web page where you will hit the clown or download button in green right here. Now there you will click the download zip button and you're gonna wait until the zip downloaded. And once you have it, you're just gonna click it and it's gonna open up the archive. And we're going to open this map here, Windows 10 Debloater. Now, I want to explain to you quickly what this is. Debloater is basically getting rid of the software that the manufacturer of your computer puts in your computer. So in our case, this is Windows. So Microsoft is basically putting a lot of extra software in your computer as you install it. 
and you don't need that stuff. That's like the things, uh, 3D viewer, all those games that are included in Windows that you won't play anyway, all that kind of stuff. If you want a full list of all that we're gonna be removing, you can go back to this web page and you can scroll all the way down and you can find here the bloatware that is removed. So it starts with the 3D Builder and it ends with the contact support. Now these are all things that again you don't need and they're taking up a lot of space on your computer and they're taking away a lot of memory. So we're gonna debloat Windows by just running this script which I showed you earlier. So going back in here we're gonna double click this one and we have three scripts here. Now we're just gonna take the normal Windows 10 debloater because all of them basically do the same. We're gonna right click it we will be copying the files to the clipboard. You're gonna minimize it, minimize your web browser, and just paste it on your desktop. Now, once you've pasted this file onto your desktop, I want you to go back to the web page where you downloaded it from. And we're gonna scroll a little bit down until we see how to run the Windows 10 D bloater. Now, as the third step of the first method here, you're gonna see this little line, set execution policy and so on. I want you to copy this line, just like I'm doing right now. And I want you to right click it and click copy. As soon as you've done that, you can minimize your web page. And we're gonna go into our start, the start button. We're gonna type here PowerShell space ISE. And then we're gonna right click that one here in the list. And we're gonna click run as administrator and this program will open. Now, first of all, we're gonna click File, and we're gonna open, and we're gonna take from our desktop the script that we've downloaded here. So we're going to open it. Now, I want you to go into the blue window, I want you to right click here, and I want you to click Paste. This should paste the line that you took from the website. After you've done that, you can just click enter and it will set the policy so that we are allowed to execute this script. Now, as you've done that, I want you to just click the play button on the top here. And we're gonna get this little prompt here, which is gonna ask us if we want to debloat or go back to how it was before the debloat. So yes to debloat Windows 10, no to go back to the undebloated Windows 10. So if you run this script and you don't like it, you can always go back. So of course we're gonna be clicking yes. Would you like to remove everything that was pre-installed on your Windows machine? Yes, and there it's going. Now, if it gives you a few errors, that's perfectly okay. That just means that some bloater is not on your computer, so don't mind that too much. Now it's just gonna be uninstalling everything. This can take quite a while. So we're just gonna wait it out. Now, if you get a pop-up box that looks like this, you're just gonna click yes to all. You can just close the Explorer window that you're getting. So if you get this pop-up about Edge PDF, I would personally just take no. Edge is the standard PDF viewer on my machine. I don't know about you, if you maybe have a personalized one, but I'm just going to click no here and I suggest you do the same. And then it's gonna ask you if you want to uninstall OneDrive. Now, I don't know if you guys use OneDrive. If you do, then just go ahead and click no. But I personally don't use it, so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna unpin all the items from the start menu. Now, this again is preference. Personally, I like to have my items on the start menu, so I'm gonna click no here. But if you want, you can go ahead and click yes, and that means that you basically will have no more of those tiles in your start menu or these fast shortcuts, which are basically taking a little bit of memory, but I personally like them, so I'm gonna actually keep them and press no. If you get this question, if you want to install .NET 3.5, I will just click no, because there is a much more recent version already present on your computer. And then it's going to ask you to reboot your machine. If you want, you can make a reboot now and come back to the movie afterwards. It's up to you, but I'm personally gonna click here, no. So that's it, that's our script. It ran, it did everything we wanted it to do. So go ahead and close this window. So after this, about 80% of your bloatware is removed. 
Now for the remaining 20% we need to run another script which is a lot easier than the previous one and it's also coming from the GitHub website that we used on the previous step. So what I want you to do is open your browser and I'm gonna put a link in the description and you can just copy and paste it into your browser and hit enter. And you're gonna come onto a page that looks very complicated. It's basically some script language, but it's actually very easy to execute. So what I want you to do is press the control and the A button at the same time. So you'll be selecting everything. And then I want you to right click in the text and just press copy. After that, you can just close the web browser. And what I want you to do is go to the start button. I'm gonna click it and you're gonna type notepad. You're gonna take that top option. And in this notepad, I want you to right click again and to click paste. Now, after you've done that, I want you to click the file button and we're gonna click save as. Now, where you see this little star here, you can take that away and you can give it your own name. For example, I'm gonna call it PC engineering. And the TXT, this is very important, you need to change to BAT. And we're gonna save this little file onto our desktop like this. And now we're gonna close it. Now I want you to right click this file and press run as administrator. So you're gonna see it's gonna perform all the operations that are in the script. It shouldn't take too long. If you get some red text, that's perfectly okay. It means it's trying to remove some bloatware that you already removed in a previous step. Now in the end, it's going to try to uninstall OneDrive. Now possibly OneDrive is already uninstalled in the previous step, so you may get an error here but that's not a big problem. Now, at this point, the script will ask you to press any key to continue. Now, I don't want you to do that. I actually want you to close the script at this point. There is a reason for this. The script is going to try to restart your Windows Explorer. And there is a chance I've noticed on some computers that the Explorer doesn't start up again. And then you're stuck with having to manually reboot your computer or opening the task manager and manually opening your explorer process again. And we don't wanna be doing all that. So it's just fine if you close it right now and after you reboot your computer, all the changes will have taken effect. So go ahead and press the red X button. Now we're pretty much done, but I have a small bonus right here for you gamers out there and for people who work with heavy rendering programs, making videos and stuff like that. So it's basically some registry tweaks. It's just a small file that you can download. I'm gonna put the link down below the video. And once you have it, you can just right click it and click merge. And on the notice you get done, you're gonna just press yes to continue. And then it's gonna give you the notice that the keys and values are successfully added to your registry. Now you can just press okay when this is done. And oh yeah, guys, of course, I don't think I need to tell you this, but don't forget to empty your recycle bin. Basically everything that's in your recycle bin is just staying on your hard drive. This is pretty basic stuff, but I'm just gonna mention it. Make sure you empty it and there we go. So congratulations guys, you made it all the way till the end of the video. Now I wanna thank you for watching this and before you go and reboot your machines, I would of course appreciate it very much if you would hit the like and the subscribe button. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos. I have a great video about how to improve your Chrome speed drastically to surf and how to fix all your problems that you may be having in there. And I'm gonna be posting a whole lot more tricks and tweaks on how to make your computer perform much better. So again, thank you guys, take care, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video video.